Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Sumit Wildlife Saber. This is the only channel of Northeast India dedicated to wildlife conservation. Viewers, as you all know, Northeast India has a diverse variety of wild animals, but most of them are yet to be documented. So, this is my small attempt to documenting various wildlife species around Northeast India. And you may view the second part of my Snakes of India series in this video. I hope you will enjoy the video and learn a few new facts about different snakes of Northeast India. The biodiversity of Northeast India is a genetic treasure of various forms of plants and animals. The region comes under the Indo-Burma Biodiversity Hotspot, which ranks 6th among the 25 biodiversity hotspots of the world. Most of the northeastern states have more than 60% of their area under forest cover. In the rural parts of northeast India, snakes are frequently encountered. The two most regularly encountered snakes in Northeast India are shown in this HD documentary video. The banded kraith, the copper-headed trinket snake, Snakes are the most fascinating of all the reptiles and also one of the most diverse groups of animals in terms of shape, size, color and ways of life. More than 100 species of snakes are recorded from Northeast India. This yellow and black banded snake is called banded great snake. In Bengali, Shankinisha. And in Assamese, the snake is called Walahap. The banded crate is a large, highly venomous snake found on the Indian subcontinent and in Southeast Asia. This snake is easily identified by its alternate black and yellow cross bands, its triangular body cross sections, and the marked vertebral ridge consisting of enlarged vertebral shields along its body. The head is bored and depressed. The eyes are black. It has arrowhead-like yellow markings present on it. The longest banded crate measured was 7 feet 5 inch long. But normally the length encountered is 5 feet 11 inch. Banded crates may be seen in a variety of habitats, from the dry and moist deciduous forest, mangrove vegetation and tropical sharp to agricultural lands. They inhabit termite mounds and rodent holes, close to water and often live near human settlements, especially villages because of their supply of rodents and water. Banded crates are shy, not typically seen, and lead a solitary life. They are mainly nocturnal. During the day, these snakes lie up in grass, pits, or drains. They are most commonly seen in the rains. Banded crates are lethargic and sluggish, even under provocation. When harassed, they will usually hide their heads under their coils and do not generally attempt to bite. Though at night they are much more active and widely considered to be more dangerous. According to IUCN, the banded crate is locally common and widespread throughout the range, but no overall population estimate is available. Currently, this species is classified as least concern on the IUCN red list and its numbers today are stable. Banded crates are carnivorous and feed mainly on other snakes such as checkered killback snake, rainbow water snake, 
in the Chinese red snake, cat snake and others. As you can see here, this banded clade is hunting a checkered killback snake. The venom of banded clade mainly consists neurotoxins with lethal dose value up to 2.4 mg per kg to 3.6 mg per kg. The major clinical effects caused by the venom of this species includes vomiting, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and dizziness. Severe envenomation can lead to respiratory failure and death may occur due to suffocation. Scientific name of this species is Bangaras fasciatus. Uh, actually, this is a nocturnal species and uh, most common crate species of our uh, northeast India compared to uh, common crate and other uh, black crate. You can easily found this snake here in northeastern part. We rescued this species yesterday night uh, and uh, here we are came here in this forest to release it. Uh, they are the one of the most uh, venomous crate uh, species. This snake is called radiated red snake or copper-headed trinket snake. This is a non-venomous species of colubrid snake. Bengali name is Indurkhawa or Dudraj or Bekatri Shah and the Assamese name Dhundoli Feti. This snake is easily identified by its dorsally grayish brown color. Four numbers of black stripes are present on the body. There is no stripe present in posterior body. If you observe carefully, then you could find that the head of the snake is attached to the black collar and three black lines from the back of each eye separated downwards. These snakes are awake during the day and the evening or at night. They can be seen in the mounds of weights. In winter, they can be seen on the leaves or twigs of trees and these snakes love to be near or around human habitation. Here you can see the snake is making S-shaped coil. This is a natural behavior of this species. When they feel threatened, they rise compressed from body and pause with S-shaped loops and open their mouth. These snakes are generally very defensive. They are very confident in their ability to defend themselves. So you must be very confident in order to remotely have a chance at controlling these species. They are also good trainer snakes for those are looking to get into cobras and other illapedi snake species. Thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel.